what's up you guys it's Nassim here aka Seem the Dream aka Nas Tech and today I will be giving you guys my final analysis on the latest the greatest Google Pixel 5G now before I even give you guys my final analysis on the Google Pixel 5G there was really just something that I wanted to point out and not only is it interesting but it's just pretty funny now remember back in 2015 when you know just to get the best flagship phone it will literally cost you around 600 bucks now fast forward to 2020 where the average mid-range phone costs around 700 bucks and in my last video i believe that that was what i have gotten wrong about the pixel 5g like in my first impressions you know before i even really got to use this phone I was just looking at it as you know just this this flagship top tier phone like the previous versions but what i really should have been looking at this as is a mid-range and in that mid-range category this is not really a bad phone at all and even when you look at this phone you can see the extremely thin bezels along with the whole punch front facing camera and when it comes to the looks of this phone i am most definitely impressed and don't get me wrong this phone doesn't really have that many options as far as color but when you just look at you know the total structure and just how this phone is designed it really is a beautifully designed phone like in my opinion the front facing hole punched all the way to the left camera is one of the best looks as far as phones in 2020 and that is really one thing that i really peeped about the google pixel 5g the display and now when it comes to the display of the pixel 5g that is where I can also tell that the effort was put into, especially when I would just go through different interfaces and I would see just how amazing the colors looked within the display. And not only that, but how premium the display felt when I was messing with it. And another thing that I truly loved about the Pixel 5G was not only the rear facing camera, but also the front facing camera. And in my opinion, it is definitely up to par with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And all right, you guys, now that we have gotten the things that I really liked about the Pixel 5G out of the way, let's get into some things that I wasn't too fond of. Now, like I said in my previous video, the one thing that I really, really, really didn't like about the Google Pixel 5G was the options. Like for example, we only got two options when it came to colors one option when it came to storage and only one option when it came to pixel phones overall and i really wish that was something that google could have taken care of because like i said in my previous video if i'm paying 700 dollars for a phone i need 700 dollars worth of options and the last and final thing that i didn't like about the google pixel 5g was the simple fact that you know despite it being 700 dollars despite it having a pretty great display, despite it having a pretty good camera, there was nothing that really just gave me, you know, just the motivation to make this my daily driver. And if you guys didn't know, my daily driver is the iPhone. And you know, when it comes to Android specific devices, I'm in love with Galaxy also. So the point I'm trying to make is, what would be the reason for me to, you know, leave Galaxy if I were to, you know, switch back over to Android? and go to Google, if that makes sense. And like I said before, this phone just gives me this meh feeling. Like it's pretty good, you know, it gets the job done, but what is that extra factor to, you know, make me spend $700 on this phone? And to sum up my final thoughts on the Google Pixel 5G, I must say that this is a great phone, but if you are the type of person who wants a little more pizzazz out of your smartphone, I definitely don't think this is the right phone for you. But for the people, you know, who are not about the pizzazz, you know, they just want a phone that works, that does what they need it to do. This is a great phone for you. But is it really a great phone for you? Because if you want a phone that really gets the job done in that price range, I feel like the iPhone and the Galaxy have many options that will suit you better than the Google Pixel would. And I'm not saying as far as personality, but I'm just saying as far as getting your money's worth, more capabilities, more things to do, you know, etc. But again, I say this is a great phone, but it really just doesn't 
scream $700. It screams to me more like 500. And I have one question for you guys. Do you think that the Google Pixel 5G is worth $700? Comment down below. And if you like the video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, show as much support to the channel as you can. It is very appreciated and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.